Well, what do you think? I think I'm tired of fancy Dan College boys who use big words, and I think you better apologize. Well, why should I, you fat tub of lard? That's it, wise guy. Put up your door. I guess I got lucky. I'm not sure I want to do a lot of fighting. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. The way looks blocked. The way looks blocked. It won't go any further that way. Hey! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. reading with Miss Hapgood. Are you crazy? During the show? Write a letter. Excuse me. Take it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins, the mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts such as you see here. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. I don't think that'll work. Excuse me. Shh. She's just coming to the exciting part. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher, or the earth itself suddenly shifting? However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens on that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or, perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts the all-seeing Nurab Sal is silent. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? I've got a newspaper here. So you do. Aren't you wondering about events of the day? I don't know. Maybe. How'd you like today's newspaper? Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? Well, that doesn't seem to work.
it goes. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through... Uh... May I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of... of... Deceit. Deceit. Thank you. Indiana Jones, you've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern. Oh, great. Good night, folks. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. I'd say it's about time. Oh, no! Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. No one here. Nor here either. Dr. Uberman, fantastic news. We found the treasure piece. That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Chief Scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announced his plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? Practical results are years away. Of course they are. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Yet you've been concealing important artifacts. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Huh. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. What do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. Closer than Atlantis, that's for sure. Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. may have just used the last bead. Shh! I'm getting something. Narab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? A, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. That book is a legendary hoax. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. How did the Nazis get interested in Iceland? Antiquity stealers probably told them about me. Nice friends you have. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask.
Dr. Heimdall. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my big sight now. Go away. I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously now I'm not. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks called Iceland, you know. You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land and how they never set foot upon it. Ha! <laughs> After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they've ever tailed by ghosts. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, John? Maybe they didn't allot any time on their itinerary. No, no, no. They were stopped by a first field, put here by beings not of this earth. Mm, that's fascinating, Doctor. Why did these beings show up here? I am convinced that these travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a space part. Up north here, we're close to the ether. It's a perfect landing site. So what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? Try the Yastro expedition, the one you're about to work on. Recently I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Somebody must have been selling them. Go ahead, blame it all on me. Where did you say those pieces come from? If these are the parts of Atlantis, you ran. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow. But very clever. And Philippe Costa in the Hathor's Island. As a researcher, he's a part, but he's a sharp trader. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. Talk to Sternhardt and Costa. So you completely discount the supernatural? Completely. If it's supernatural, you ask. Talk to Sternhardt and Costa. What is this thing you're working on? The bronze heel here? Oh, it's a, probably a homing beacon for wayward spaceships. Soon I'll have it out of the ice. So long. Good luck, fellow believer. Sophia. What's on your mind? I think the good doctor's got frostbite of the brain. I'll say, spacemen, my eye. Let's head for the airport. His house? This is it. Mr. Costa? Keep your shirt on. Be careful, Indy. Humor him. Trust me. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Costa, and I'm tired of talking to you. Indiana? What kind of stupid name is that? <laughs> nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. 
Excuse me. Yes? How'd we get mixed up with this screwball? The screwball in Iceland, remember? What do we do now? We could talk to Costa again, or move on. Excuse me. Yes? Here, you talk to the man. My pleasure. I already have it. Excuse me? Yes? Follow me, Indy. What? Where? Quit fooling around, Sophia. We're wasting time. Mr. Costa! This better be important. He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia, a renowned psychic. I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. Actually, he's named after the family dog. Sophia. See? Hmm, I see. What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? What do you want to know? Can you get it for me? Nope. Do you have it? Nope. Have you read it? Not exactly. Do you know what's in it? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Don't be a stranger now. He's a sweet old guy. Trade, huh? If not your necklace, then what, I wonder? Listen. Yes? I think you better take over. Okay, I'll think of something. Come on, let's go. Listen. Yes? How do you like the tropics? You're the one who's afraid of snakes. Great, thanks for reminding me. Looks like the end of the road. There's got to be a way through. Well, what do we do now? We probably should find Sternhart. But I'm not setting foot in that malaria-infested hole. Critter's too far away. That critter's too far away.
Good old Mother Nature. I can't talk to that bird from here. Wow, some bridge. Hi, Indy. Hello. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. What do we do now? We better find Sternhardt. Tip a canoe. A pile of poo. Echo. Echo. Caribou. A pile of poo. Hullabaloo. A pile of poo. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Bye bye, Birdie. Bye bye, Birdie. Stop! I'm begging your pardon, you can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. Can I help you with something? Postcard? Replicas of the temple? Souvenir mugs? Uh, no thanks, Mr. Charles Sternhardt, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. Well, what can you tell us about Plato's lost dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Oh, no! What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the lost dialogue. What can you tell us about the temple? Glad you asked. The locals play my Indian thing. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages, or does it seem much too civilized? Why aren't we allowed inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or possibly a cat. Actually, it was the name of a dog. Sophia! I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy. You're surrounded by it. Proof? Now that's hard. Does that mean we came to the wrong place? I've pretty much lost hope myself. But old legends and rumors die hard. What kind of rumors? Local legend has it that the temple was built by men who are not men. Do you actually believe Atlanteans lived here? After the city sank, this is where they came, I'm sure. What are men who are not men? Who knows? I've heard everything from giant men with snakes for tails to giant snakes with men for heads. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. I don't know the title. Obviously, you're not serious about this.
Title? Hermocrates, a friend of Socrates. Title? Hermocrates, a friend of Socrates. Listen. Yes? Let's look around. Okay. Stop! Excuse me, the temple isn't open to the public. Listen. Yes? About exploring the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue in Plato. The Hermocrates. That's it. That's it! Well now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. I don't trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. Come on. Here we are. Let's see what you can do. Say there. Yes. So you've never found anything here? No, I'm stumped. Say there. Yes. What was the purpose of this chamber? You have me there. Some sort of crypt? Listen. Yes? I think I'll look around some more. Righto. Carry on. Looks like it could use a nose. This one looks different, more deeply etched. Excuse me, Sophia. What's up? Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. Excuse me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. So, you took my lamp, eh? I hope you know what you're doing. Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Remarkable. Now I got it. Marvelous. It fits perfectly. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. Amazing! It doesn't seem to open. And that doesn't seem to work. It won't go any farther. Look at that! Astonishing! Bless my soul, the tomb of an Atlantean king! of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone. At last I have the thing. Goodbye, fellow speakers. Wait! Oh no, he got away! Too bad for Sternar. He missed the Auric Alchemy. Who knows? Maybe it is the tomb of an Atlantean king. Excuse me. Yes? Let's look around. 
Okay. Let's find the airport. Listen. Yes? Here, talk to him again. Okay. Mr. Costa! Why, hello! Hello again, Professor. I've given you all the help I can unless you have something to trade. Don't be a stranger now. What a charming old man. I don't want to hear about it. Indy? Yes? I think you better take over. Okay, I'll think of something. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a tray. Okay, what you got? I'm offering this ancient coppery bead. Bead, you say? A mere bead for the unique knowledge I possess? You'll have to do better than that. Got anything else? I'll get back to you. Come back when you've got something worth my while. Don't start with me. Listen. Yes? Here, talk to him again. Okay. Let's get out of here. frozen solid, a little too dedicated to his work, I guess. Sophia. What's on your mind? Heimdall's ideas weren't that hot, I guess. What now? What about that eel figurine? It looked like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. I already have it. It fits perfectly. Whoa! Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. Let's head for the airport. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a tray. Okay, what you got? 
I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully, I don't know exactly where to find it, but... The Lost Dialogue of Plato is in the Ward Collection, got that? I think so, the Ward Collection. Very good, nice doing business with you. The Ward Collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Ward Collection. Dr. Uberman, fantastic news. Colonel, at last! See what Herr Charles has kindly provided. What on earth? Isn't it amazing? You fool! You come back to show me this, this, this prehistoric knickknack? Herr Doctor, I believe this knickknack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal plato called Ori Calcum! Look here, concealed in the base is a small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire, exactly as Plato described. It's my guess we found the treasure we see. I never guess. We must test. <laughs> Technology of uranium without any radioactivity! And those smug American scientists know nothing! That gives me an idea. All I place the bee inside the statue's open mouth. You saw that? Think of trucks powered by these beams. Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Use your imagination, Colonel. Think big like the American. Think of bombs. Why are you dragging me in here? Plato's lost dialogue should be here somewhere. Need some help? Yes, please, it's scary in here. Save the sarcasm, Jones. I'll meet you in your office. It says, for sale, 1937 Ford Coupe, like new, 300 bucks. pick that up. I should have cleaned it out. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. I 
I can't pick that up. Nothing up here but a few broken pots. Here's a cartouche from the Well of Souls. Nothing useful in here. like textiles from the Shamit collection. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix collection. Looks like someone's ashes in here. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. I can't lift the lid. It's unscrewed.
It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. The back of the bookcase is too securely fastened to open. It's unscrewed. Here it is, the lost dialogue of Plato. I got it. I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. Notice Plato's tenfold numbering error. So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Good old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Dealing with Nirav Sal takes a lot of energy, that's all. Now listen. Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Omar al-Jabbar in Algiers. Why should he help us? Or was it a Cartier in Monte Carlo? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. You'll need all three stones if you want to find Atlantis. How will I find Trottier and Al-Jabbar? Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell you a fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful, always eager to solve life's deepest puzzles. I could never follow the thoughts of your maze-like mind, so I can't follow you along the twisting path that leads to Atlantis.